Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Abhinav and uh, in this video today we'll see about uh, how to boost your uh, FMG preparation in the last 15 days. So as we all know we have only 15 days left for the FMG 2021 December exam. So what can we do in this 15 days in order to score an extra 20 to 30 marks in your exam or in order to boost your preparation which uh, because in the last 15 days is really vital for any exam because whatever you learn now that you are going to uh, that is going to be in your memory easily when you go for the exam so i'll tell you some of the important things that you can do for the last 15 days in order to score more marks or in order to boost your fmg preparations okay so the first thing will be you will have to create a mentality like uh, tomorrow is your exam so every day you think that tomorrow is exam so what you are going to do in that exam that the same thing you'll have to replicate in your daily the last 15 days what i mean by this is that in your exam day you are going to wake up early uh, for example if you are going to wake up at 6 a.m then from tomorrow you are going to wake up 6 a.m daily for the next 15 days so in the exam day we all know that in the morning time we are going to solve questions there is computer based questions so what do you do at home at home in the last 15 days Again, you will solve MCQs in the morning and for the evening, you will do the revision, okay? Just like your uh, exam day, you will have to act like accordingly for the next 15 days, okay? So if you're going to wake up at 6 a.m. in the exam and solve questions throughout the day, you do the same thing for the next 15 days at your home. So that will, what this will do is, it will tell to your brain that uh, you're going to be like this, you're going to be more active in the morning, so you are going to tell to your brain that it has to be active in the morning, most active in the morning so that you can solve the questions very well and whatever you have learned before, it is going to be in your memory better. So the next thing is in the last 15 days, you're going to solve as many MCQs as possible. So remember daily, you'll have to solve at least 150 to 200 MCQs and know the answers for it also. So revise what, what have you done wrong and uh, why it is correct and all those things. And uh, if you have, if you think you're weak in some MCQ or you're weak in some concepts in that MCQ, you go back to your revision notes, you read again those topics, you revise it again and again and again. So revision is the key always. So in the last 15 days, what you will do is you will solve as many MCQs as possible. And at the same time, try revising as much as possible. So in the last 15 days, what you will have to do additionally is that you will, have, you will also have to solve the previous year MCQs. So you will have to solve the June uh, 2021 exam questions and uh, August and December 2020 exam questions. At least these three papers. So in this, in our channel, we will try to solve it together. So I'll try to make a video on the solutions of those questions. Also. But if you have solutions already, then you can go through it and solve it uh, according to your time. Uh, so the next thing is that once you will solve the MCQs, you will have to revise those MCQs and then do previous year question papers and revise the answers of those question papers. And so this will be a, a cycle. So we'll revise, do MCQs, revise, do MCQs, and they should go on. So the next thing I wanted to say is that solve many image-based questions. So nowadays in exam, what we are seeing is that more of image-based questions, more of clinical-based questions. So Try to solve those type of questions as much as possible, okay? So solving image-based question is an art. So those image-based questions are actually helping you. So don't be scared of it. When you read the question, you might not understand some points, but when you see the image, that is going to help you. The image is going to add a clarity to your question. So it is going to actually help you in the exam. So don't be afraid of image-based questions. They are actually good for you. So try to solve image-based questions. Uh, see the surgical instruments, obstetrics and gynecological instruments and uh, all those type of questions which can be asked in the images. So these are some of the important things that I wanted to say for the last 15 days before your exam. So mentally be prepared for the exam. Think like, act like tomorrow is your exam. So next 15 days is very, very crucial. So try to uh, make the most out of it so that if you are about to score 180 
in the last 15 days good preparation will get you to 200 or if you are about to score 130 even the last 15 days can get you to 150 also because getting 150 is really really important in this exam and it can make a big difference as well so that's what that's all i wanted to tell you so uh, keep your preparations going on you uh, definitely know more than what you think so you are going to do very well in your exam and you are going to pass this exam so thank you